right, first of all, let me have you say your name and what you do. Uh, my name is Bobby Russell, and I'm one of the owners of Brother, Mo Brother Moto. Yep. Um, we are a motorcycle co-op in East Atlanta Village, and yeah, people come in, and, and basically we describe it like a gym, where people come in and rent space to be able to work on their own bikes, um, and we have the tools and the uh, means necessary for them to work on their own bikes. So how many members of the co-op are there right now? So we've been in East Atlanta since March, and we're right at 120 members. So there's different people coming in all day working on, you know, Harleys and Hondas and everything in between. All right, and show me around this place. This place is kind of cool, too. It looks like you've uh, kind of gone back to the 70s in some ways. Yeah, so yeah. around here. Yeah, so basically this is a, um, a little pop-up that we're doing with a company called Brick and Mortar. Um, and we're just here, you know, trying to raise awareness for what we're doing. Um, it's a really cool space where brick and mortar is selling a lot of these furnishings. So we just came in because we like their brand a lot. And we're like, hey, let's come in and, you know, have some of our bikes and our product and just hang out. So, so what do you guys sell? I like that old school. Show me that old school helmet. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is one of our... Um, yeah, I love that. Look at that. This, well, this, is, this, is your, this is your co-op right there. Yep. And tell me about this helmet. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a Biltwell helmet. It's just like a retro styled helmet. Um, I just love it because the colors are really cool. It's like that throwback to the 70s. And, like it, um, you expect like Evil Knievel. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, definitely. To be wearing it. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And do you ride? Yeah, I definitely do. What do you ride? Um, I ride a 72 BMW um, and it is awesome, except for today it happened to break down which is the joys, I guess, of having an old vintage bike, so. And how did you come up with the idea of doing a co-op for motorcycles? So we actually, my business partner and I, Jared, yeah. we met in a apartment lot, apartment complex parking lot, yeah. and we were both out there like working on our bikes, and we were like, man, I wish that we could have somewhere where we could all just share the tools and the space, and when it's raining, we don't have to worry about, you know, us getting rained on or rained out. So kind of out of that, we just started like, seeing if there are more people that were interested. It seemed like there were a lot of people that were interested, so we just built up this brand, and um, from there we just you know, took the jump and rented out a space. How long have you been doing it now? Um, so we've been a company for two years. We just moved into our first space in January, and we opened up in March, so. So not too long? Not too long at all, no. And is, it, is it Harley guys? Is it British guys? Is it Japanese? It's, I would say American? it's like a mix of everything. Yeah. So in our space it's really cool, because it's like you have a broad spectrum of you know different demographics as far as age or what people ride and it's it's everything from old guys on Harleys to like young guys on Jap bikes and it's like everything in between which is really cool because that's the community that we wanted to build is like a welcoming environment for people to come in and be freed up to ask questions and not feel judged for riding a certain type of bike. Yeah, so it's just uh, as long as you ride, you're welcome. How about yeah. scooters? Do you allow scooters? Yeah, we definitely allow scooters. <laughs> we have a couple of dudes that love scooters, and yeah, so they're in there too sometimes. All right, tell me about this bike. Tell me, it's, a, it's an old Yamaha, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's an old Yamaha our buddy Max built. He's yeah. on a uh, trip around the world actually right now. Wow. Uh, he's, he's going around the Trans American Trail and then doing India and Cambodia and all that. But he, um, What's he riding? He's riding a DR650 okay, that he's nice. done a lot of work to. So this is kind of one of his other bikes that he built, um, I think, five years ago. And we're just holding on to it while he's gone. So it's because we really like it. So, so uh, have you ever given any thoughts of going around the world? Have you ever... I haven't ever gone around the world. Um, my business partner and I, Jared, we would love to do a trip to South America and do that. Um, we've done the, the cross country of the US, so we'd love to kind of do the South American part um, next, I think is what we're eyeing. Have you read Jupiter's Travels? I haven't, no. Uh, you, should, you should read that. I've never it's read like, that. Yeah, it's a really cool book. It's one of the first modern um, stories about a guy who went around the world on a motorcycle. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I had a buddy who had a, a BMW 650 car. Yeah. And he went to, did my dream trip, which is to go down to Terra de Fuego. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And That's awesome. Him, and I said, how was it? And he said, oh, it was terrible. And I said, why was it terrible? And he said, well, because, you know, I didn't plan enough time. Yeah, so, yeah. So what happened was he dropped the bike a couple times. Then he got really nervous, right? And really scared about right. uh, riding. But he said it was really cool, but you just need more than two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it on your own. So show yeah. me around. What else is there here? Yeah, so I mean, basically we just have, you know, a lot of really cool product. We have um, some jackets and stuff, too. Are those, are those like old motorcycle Yeah, jackets? so these are uh, some old Bell Staff jackets and oh, cool. Barber jackets that we've got in here. So old vintage stock. I like so. this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's so really cool. It's a newer uh, Roland Sands jacket. But then we have like an old dirt bike Penton race team jacket too. 
Yeah, it's a far cry from the armor that's in the new jacket. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely not going to get the same protection in this, but no. looks really cool. But you're going to look really cool, and you're not going to yeah. get a lot of protection at the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else you got? Let's walk around. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. So you got some brand new t-shirts. Hey. Yeah. yeah. And I guess we have. <laughs> then we have some uh, other helmets and things, and a lot of frames. Why 77? Uh, I just like that number. Okay, all right. So I thought there was some significance to it. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think so. And then a lot of uh, brick and mortar stuff. Yeah. You need, you need more like engine parts. Yeah, yeah, in our other shop, we definitely have more of our like dirty, oily right, engine, engine stuff. <laughs> yeah. but I can tell you're serious because your hands are dirty. Yeah, they're always, <laughs> always dirty. <laughs> yeah. So if people are interested in checking out the uh, co-op, what's your website? Uh, just brothermoto.com brothermoto is our website. Com. Yeah. All right, well, thanks very much for yeah. sharing your uh, pop-up and your story. And I hope yeah. that if people in Atlanta want to do some motorcycle work on their own bikes, that they check it out. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, Appreciate cheers. It. Yeah, thanks. absolutely. Thank yeah, thank you.